All right, all right, folks. This is my opinion on uh, on the remote ID thing with the FAA. As a drone pilot, you know, I had to get my license from uh, to be able to fly my drones because, you know, that was required. Okay, now they want to introduce remote ID, which is fine. I, understand, I, I totally understand some of it. But what I don't understand is why do I have to broadcast where I'm at to someone, to just, just about anybody, okay? I mean, let's say, for example, I understand that when, when we drive cars, you know, you have your car, your car is registered, you have license plate. You know, if you commit an accident or you get to an accident, they're able to locate you, uh, you know, track you down, whatever, if you run away from the accident. I get that. So we have a database where the police can, the police, keyword police, they can look you up and track you down for what you did. Now, you cross over to the uh, drone pilots, you know, you can call them pilots, call them whatever you like. You know, we still, you know, you got, you had to get an FAA license. So it's called a pilot license. So anyhow, now you, you convert that over to the pilots. And whereas if I'm in the park, anybody can, can get my information from some database from the FAA, okay? It's, a, it's not the same thing for if you're driving a car. Let's say I'm driving my car down the block, I have a nice car, you know? And you can't just look up my license plate and know exactly where I live because that's not, that's not public information like that. You, you know, you have to be an authority figure to be able to get that type of information. But now the FA want to take out our information and give it to the public. Let's say I'm in the park, I'm flying the drone, boom. Everybody can have that, you know, they can have that information, know exactly where I'm at, they know exactly where my drone is. They might, they might know the model number and everything. So if you have all this information, all you, have, all you have to do is look up what I'm flying, how much it costs, okay? And who I'm at, who I am, and come and come talk to me. Cause some people were trying to rob you for your stuff. Okay, now you put my life in, you put my life in danger in, 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 in certain ways here, okay? I'm not saying everybody's out there to trying to rob you. I'm not saying that, but there is a certain elements of our society they're criminals. This is what they do. They'll rob you for any little thing, okay? So, like, you know, like, for example, I live in Brooklyn, okay? And I fly my drone here and there. Sometimes I go with my kids. Sometimes I go with a friend of mine, some friends of mine. So, one time I'm in the park and I was flying, uh, I think it's, um, I think I was flying, uh, uh, possibly my Inspire 1 or Inspire 2. I can't remember exactly what I was flying. Anyway, this guy came up to me and said, oh, man, this is a nice drone. How much does it cost? I'm looking, I'm like, I don't even know you like, you know, ask me how much my stuff costs. So I'm like, hey, it doesn't cost that much. He's like, well, you know, you gotta be careful around here because a guy trying to hit me with one of them. I'm like, why would a guy trying to hit you with one of these things? He's like, yeah, you look like the guy that trying to hit me with it. I'm like, why in the world would I try to hit you with a drone? I'm like, Exa what exactly are you doing 400 feet up? Cause I don't fly my drone low to above people's head or anything like that. So why would, you know, Obviously, this dude was just trying to try me. He was trying, he tried me to see what my reaction would be. You know, see if he could try me, see if he could try to rob me, anything like that. So he looked over, he see my friend, and my friend's a big dude. He looked at him like, ah, oh, man, all right. All right, he just kept it moving. But the point I'm trying to make is, now, nah, FA, you know, what's, what's to stop this guy? I'm, next time I'm in the park by myself, and let's, I'm not saying he's, he's that savvy where he can have a, a computer or whatever, where you can look up your information and see where you are with the drone, see where you are in the park and come rob you. But if the FA implement these rules, what's to stop him? Cause you, like I said, you have criminals. Brooklyn, I live in Brooklyn. Brooklyn is not the nicest. It is one of the beautiful cities in the world, but we don't have the nicest people in the world here. You have a good amount of people who, you know, they ain't too, they, they can make crimes. Okay, and I don't want to be a victim of that, so. I'm hoping before F the FAA roll out these rules, you know, they kind of think about it, make sure it's gonna, you know, make sure it benefits everybody in a safe way. There's gotta be some safety measures that's put in place for the for the people that's actually flying these drones. Because you don't you don't wanna go to the park and get robbed or get possibly get killed for your stuff. You know, especially when you when when the information is readily available where someone could just look up your information and see where you at, and just be like, you know, I'm gonna rob this dude. And people do stuff like that. So we have to be careful with the, with this new FAA rules. So people have to be more selective of where they fly, 
because you never know what's gonna happen when you fly in your drums. All right, that's my opinion of it. I'm, you know, I'm hoping something does change, and uh, peace out.